Hello, good day, good day to everyone. Uh, again, stop. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Hello, good day, everyone. How are you doing today? I'm so excited to see you all here. And again, we honor you for being here. Among so many things that you can do today, you decided to be here with us. And for that, pat yourself at the shoulder and say congratulations. Alam naman natin, so if you are an OFW or even the breadwinner, we are on the habit of giving and giving. Lagi na lang natin iniisip, unahin ang pamilya, ang mga kakilala, ang mga kaibigan. So, for taking time for today's congratulations for taking time to choose you for today again ayan maraming maraming salamat in joining us now meron ako mga few question for you before we start kung ikaw ba ito and para malaman natin na tama ang webinar na ito so the first question that i do have for you how many of you feel you are being treated like an ATM by your families, relatives, or friends. Or if para praise natin, ang movie line na, para ka bang ATM na bukas sa lahat ng gustong mag-withdraw. <laughs> Kung ikaw yung nakaka-feel niyan, ayan, pakitype niyo sa inyong chat box, relate much, hashtag relate much, or hashtag who got. Ayan. Keep, it, keep it coming. Now, my second question to you. Ikaw ba yung hindi makatulog dahil paparating na si Judith? Sino ba itong si Judith? Judith. Ayan, katapusan na naman. Kailangan ko magbayad ng utang. Uh, naniningil na naman yung nagkakautangan ko or dumarating na naman yung mga bills ko sa, sa bahay and wala pang sweldo. And even parating may sweldo, alam natin kulang ito. Again, type nyo hashtag hugot or relate much kung ikaw yan. My last question to you is, kung ikaw ay isang OFW, so wa ka na ba maging OFW? How, how many of you feel that you are already tired working as an expat Filipino, missing your family, and you want to go home for good? However, you cannot do it kasi kailangan mo pa silang sustentuhan. Kasi marami ka pa rin na, um, na kailangan ma-fulfill para sa iyong pamilya. If that's you, please type me in the chat box. Ayan. Kung, kung kayo po ay isa dyan sa mga katanungan na yan, type me in the chat box, chat box or hashtag gugot or relate much. And if this is you, ayan, sige, keep it coming. Yung mga chat nyo, nyo po, gamitin natin yung chat box natin para maging interactive tayo. If this is you, sa so mga nagtatype ng me, you are on the right Zoom meeting. We will not leave you. We will help you. This this Zoom meeting, this webinar, we will help you to our um help you to how to become uh, successful in the next coming years. Now let's talk about first money. According to the financial financial gurus, money is relative. The more money you have, the more relative you're going to have as well. <laughs> and so, the, the, kaya mas maraming, maraming nagiging kamag-anak dahil dumadami ang iyong pera. So, yan ang nangyayari sa atin. Now, my mentor told me that the most valuable commodity in the world right now is attention. It's not time. It's not money. So, our number one rule, don't go dark on us. Stay focused. Don't put us on the background because this webinar is for you. We will do our very best to provide as much information as we can in the next coming minutes and in this session. And my only request, kung makakatulong po kami sa inyo, matututo kayo today, is for you to take action and be guided by our professional team right after this session. A speaker is as only as good as the energy of the audience. So given that we are on the webinar, please put your comments, your, your answer to my question sa ating chat box. Ayan. So keep it coming. Now, before I proceed, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Francis Errol Medina. 
most people call me Mr. Expat Entrepreneur because I champion the path of investment and entrepreneurship for expats and expat Filipinos. Uh, for 17 years, uh, I've been here in the Middle East, first in Doha, Qatar. Then later, I moved here in Dubai, UAE for more than a decade before um, I held a top management post and uh, responsible for 79 countries, now a full-time entrepreneur in and, 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 and both Philippines and here in the UAE. And I find sharing success very rewarding it's a form of social responsibility in giving back to the community and a venue for me to create a legacy. So yan po ang ating advocacy for the past how many years. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Kayo po. Kayo yan. If you are a Filipino or my pusong Filipino, you left your family in the Philippines, um, you're the breadwinner and to give a better uh, life and also... Ano, kung umalis na kayo sa Pilipinas compared to the life in the Philippines, your income probably are more higher than now, so uh, than before. Uh, this is what we would like to to focus with. Gusto namin kayong matulungan. Now, with the pandemic, magto two years na. With our resiliency and our survival instincts taught us only to focus on the things that we can control. Ayan. So, so ngayon, it's about time to go back to the direction. It's about time for us to fulfill yung medyo na naantalang uh, mga action para sa ating mga success. And with this, I would once you, you focus on the things that you can control, I want you to take charge, assume control, and, and the responsibility with your financial plan. And lagi naman, pag may storm, we anchor ourselves with your biggest why. Para hindi, di ba, hindi naman nagbabago ang ating biggest why. Eh. Tuloy-tuloy lang yan. Even meron pandemic, even may emergency, we still continue to invest to achieve our biggest why. And speaking about the biggest why, ano-ano ba yung mga pangarap natin, yung dreams natin? Yeah, mapatapos ang ating mga anak, makapag-retire ng sustainably, magkaroon na sariling bahay, of course, magkaroon din ng mga businesses. But a dream will remain only a dream if you don't act on it. But when you act on it, it is the, a form that you are already transforming that into a goal. A dream is being transformed into a goal. Now, using this goal, I would like you to use this smart uh, technique. Ano nga ba yan? Yung, yung sa goal setting natin. Kailan? Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. So yan. So paano nga ba yan? Naaalala nyo pa ba? Naaalala nyo pa ba ang ang vision board natin? So in in this um, in the interest of time, please take a screenshot of this. Ito yung magiging sample. Revisit natin yung mga vision board nyo. Kailangan lagay natin. Ano ba yan? Mag mawalan ako ng matapos na yung utang ko. Magkano yung utang? Be specific. At kailan nyo target matapos yan? Then lagay nyo short term, medium term, or long term ba to? Of course, magkaroon na sariling bahay. Magkano yung worth ng bahay? Kailan mo gustong ma-achieve ito? Long term ba to? And so on and so forth. Na. Educational fund, retirement fund. Of course, gusto mo magkaroon ng business, investment fund, rental income. So lagay natin lahat yan. And dapat ito, lagi natin ito nakikita every day para we are inspired uh, to achieve this and, and para meron tayong long-term goal. And then, ayan, sige, take the screenshot before I proceed to the next, uh, to the next um, uh, slide. And I would like, if you would like, we can help you. Uh, you can email this to us as well uh, later on so we can help you um, in steering this through the financial planning as well. Magagaydan po namin kayo. But before that, first, first thing first is we need to understand our status quo. We need to identify how much by yung net worth natin. So in doing this, you need to put on the left side the assets. Ano ba yung mga assets natin? Liquid asset, cash, uh, yung mga household asset, or meron na kayo mga investment. I-total natin yan, yung current 
market value nila. So pag na-total nyo na, magkakaroon kayo total investment asset. On the right-hand side, ito naman yung mga liabilities. Ilagay nyo dyan. Kung short-term liabilities, yan, mga credit card, may personal loan kayo. Kung may long-term liabilities yan, yan yung may mga house mortgage na, magkano pa yan. And with that, you, you uh, total the um, investment asset and then the, the long-term liabilities, you deduct that to your investment, then you will get your total net worth. So again, take a screenshot of this para your second assignment. First is your, your vision board, revisit that. And then later on, uh, we will going to be uh, to ca uh, capture your net worth as well. The third assignment, again, our finances is also like your health. You know, uh, may COVID ka ba? Check mo muna kung may symptoms. May lagnat ka ba? May ubo, sipon, may history ng travel, etc. Ganun din po sa financial status mo. So take, again, a screenshot in the interest of time. Please do this na lang as your third assignment. So again, the cash flow statement, put first your income together. Uh, kung, mag, kung mag asawa kayo, your, your husband and wife income, kung may rental income kayo, at may other racket pa, lagay nyo dyan kung regular income ninyo. Of course, it is important uh, that you put also your expenses para makita natin ano ba yung mga pwede pa natin ma-fine tune dito sa mga expenses natin. Enable for us to, to get, you know, total income minus the total expense, alam mo kung magkano ang net income mo for the month. Again, in the interest of time, take a picture of this. So remember, kung hindi nyo yan gagawin, uh, it's your life on the line. Unfortunately, there's no shortcut to financial management. You have to crunch your numbers. So screenshot, again, we can help you understanding also your cash flow. So very important yan, Bago tayo mag-proceed sa destination, we need to understand our financial status quo. Nasa saan na ba tayo? So the next step you know, in financial uh, um, literacy and financial planning, we need to also build our financial freedom model. The first base na kailangan natin ayusin with our own priority is first to manage our money. So how to manage our money? establish a stable, stable, uh, stable cash flow, um, reduce our daily expenses, yung talagang kailangan lang natin buwan-buwan, and of course, reduce our debt. Because if we're not going to fix this foundational, it's going to be difficult for us to, uh, to, to uh, succeed on the next coming steps. The next step to this, once ma, ma, ma fix na natin in managing our own money, we are going to build our safety net. So we will start to build our emergency fund. We are going to start to grow our savings. Of course, hindi lang dapat tinatabi ang savings. We are going to invest that to different investment vehicle that will help you grow your money. At the same time, dito rin po ang pasok to protect ourselves and our family to any risk para hindi mababawasan ng malaki ang ating tinatabi at ini-invest. Now, the third level, so dito, you accumulate assets. So, sy syempre, naayos mo na yung mga um, basic foundation natin. So, medyo matatag na yan and, and nag-grow na yung mga investments natin. So, we continuously, continuously grow our investment portfolio. And then, we start to look on the um, investment vehicle that will save for our retirement. Kasi medyo tumatanda na tayo by this time. Now, once we do that, of course, we are we would like you to preserve your wealth. Ito na. You are gaining the financial confidence na. And with this, we would like you also to enjoy and use this, um, this saving and investment that grows over time that will uh, sustain your retirement uh, time, right? Now, the last piece on the financial freedom, of course, leaving a legacy. Tandaan natin kung saan matayo mapupunta after this, uh, the life here, um, we are, hindi natin madadalayan. 
So you need to transfer this to the next generation. So na lang po pasok ng estate planning, the business continuity, and to some people they are also giving back to the community. So yeah, so everyone has their own priorities. You can take your own path, but at the end of the day, you need to build the foundation first. Now, investment investing is a journey. I always tell to people, always put a purpose on the hard-earned money that you are going to and willing to invest. Para alam mo kung kailan ka exit. Ano ang anong gamit ng ng investment na ito at saan to makakatulong sa akin in the future. So also um sabi nga ng ating coach uh, si coach Randall um in investing time is your greatest ally. So the best investment uh when is the best in uh best time to invest dapat noon pa. And when is the next time to uh next best time to invest ngayon na. Take action to it. Now So since we're going to talk about um, discuss about real estate, I will show you some strategies in acquiring real estate, and that this is what I have implemented also in my own um, uh, business on my rental properties, and in my goal that it will replace also my income once I start working. Yeah. So, paano pa mapapasakay ng property nito? Allow me to discuss first leveraging. Narinig niyo na ba yung word na leveraging? Now, I'll I'll give you some example paano ba to. So, natatandaan mo during the 80s and the 90s yung project na Mall of Asia. Yun sa sa uh, Pasay. Before nung sinasabi na mag-invest ka dito, huwag ka mag-invest dyan. Sasabihin sa'yo, huwag ka mag-invest dyan kasi kakainin ulit yan ng dagat. Reclamation yan. But now, look at now. Um, the the Mall of Asia is a place to be already in Metro Manila. Now, saan kaya kinuha ng SM Group yung, yung perang pang-invest dito? Ginamit kaya nila ang sarili nilang cash? What do you think? So natanong ko na rin kasi sa sarili ko, paano ba yung mayaman ang mayaman? So leveraging is the right word. Leveraging is um, in in uh, in definition, it is acquiring more asset by using uh, debt or tinatawag nating good debt. Now, ang kwento na to, tutuloy ko kay, kay SM. So hindi nila ginamit ang sarili nilang cash. Kanino sila lumapit? Lumapit sila sa banko. Kaninong banko? Of course, banko nila, BDO. So, kaninong pera yung inutang nila? Inutang nila sa ating mga depository. <laughs> so, so pinahiram natin sila with, of course, um, with a minimal interest rate kasi they can influence that kasi sila rin ang may-ari. Now, kung mas maganda, kung mas maliit ang interest, and they will pay this over time. What happened, nakapag-bid sila sa project, nakuha nila yung project, na-develop nila yung area, they put um, the location, napili nila yung strategic location at saka bago nila ibinenta sa other developer yung ibang mga uh, portion ng, ng lupa na yun. And then, with a premium. Sinel nila with a premium. Now, kumita na sila doon, hindi ginagamit na sarili ng pera, binalik nila unti-unti Unti-unti, hulug-hulugan for over a period of time ngayon, nadagdagan ng asset ng mga ng SM Group, ng SMDC, and then hindi nabago ang cash nila. Kumita pa sila sa deal na yun kasi they sell it with a premium already after developing it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, yan po ang leveraging. Paano ba natin to? Sabi ko, paano ba kumurot? Gumaya in our own little way. So this is you. As an individual, you do have a leveraging power. So kung nasa abroad kayo, alam ba, kung nasa, kayo, nasa UAE, pwede kayo mangutang sa banko dyan. Sa Pilipinas then we can um, uh, take a loan. Also, nandiyan dyan din si Pag-ibig kung kayo ay member ni Pag-ibig. So yan ang mga leveraging, some of the leveraging power that you can use. I will show you additional um, tips and strategy paano yung mayaman ng mayaman sa real estate. 
So let's say, for example, you are buying a pre-selling property. Ang kagandahan dito, let's say the price is 5 million. Ang kagandahan dito, you are locking in the price already at 5 million nang inuumpisahan pa lang yung proyekto. Now, ang kagandahan with, with SMDC, ang mga property na to ay very strategic kasi sila na lang, sino pa pinakamayaman sa buong Pilipinas, which is SM. They are the, they have the money to buy real estate on a strategic location. So, look at this. A pre-selling price, you are locking it at 5 million pesos. Pag natapos po ito, pag turnover na sa inyo, uh, doble na or uh, almost double na ang price ng property na yan. Now, look at this. Yung 1 million, ito po yung tinatawag nating for savings. Yung 1 million, payable po yan in the next coming 40 months. So more or less ang binabayaran mo dyan from 15 to 20,000. Depende na lang how much yung, yung months to pay. So parang naguhulog ka ng buwan-buwan. Let's say for example, 16,000 every month. Binabayaran mo buwan-buwan. Nag-4 saves ka for saving ka, parang nag tinatabi mo na yan sa banko in the next coming 40 months. Now, the balance, the balance, we will pay this later on using good debt. Okay? Good debt. Now, three to four years down the line, after 40 months, believe me, the 5 million property price, it's already 8 million pesos dahil nasa strategic location po yan. So, nag-appreciate na kagad yung pera nyo. Ang lumabas lang sa inyong pera is the 1 million na hinulugulugan mo pa in the last 40 months. Now, so nag-leverage ka let's say sa banko dito sa uh, ibang bansa or sa UAE. So, then lumabas ang title. So, ganito na yan. Fast forward natin. The property, you lock in the price 5 million. Now, the property value, yung title, the property value is 8 million already. Tandaan natin, um, when, when it's going to be turned over, um, no time mag leverage Now, look at this. Ang hinulugan nyo muna, nalaki nyo yung price at 5 million, ang hinulugan nyo lang is the 15,000 pesos, 16,000 or uh, 20,000. Depende na lang yan sa months. Meron pa nga dyan, 60 to 70 months pa. So, take the time na para nagpo-for save lang kayo. Ang lumabas lang talaga na pera sa inyo is the 1 million pesos. The balance, you get it from the bank. Now, you, you sold the property. Remember, the market price by the time that the turnover sa inyo is already 8 million from 8, 5 million. Ang lumabas na pera lang sa inyo is 1 million. Now, you let's say you, you sold it at 7 million. Balik ko yung 4 million na inutang ko sa banko. Okay? Now, magkano lumabas again na pera sa inyo? Only 1 million na hinulug-hulugan mo pa over 40 months. That 1 million already yields 3 million in the last four years. So, tabi mo man po, hulugulugan mo man, ipunin mo man yung 1 million na yan kahit sa banko, hindi po yung kikita ng 3 million pesos in the next coming four years of time. Ladies and gentlemen, ito po yung tinatawag na flipping ng mga properties. You lock in the price at 5 million, hinulugulugan mo yung 1 million, then pwede mo na siyang ibenta pag nag-appreciate na siya, dumoble na ang presyo, kumita na po yung hinulugulugan yung uh, property. So marami na pong umaman sa pag-flip ng property. So that's one way of leveraging. This is what, if you were looking naman for, sorry, this is if you're looking for a property that is a sustainable rental property in, uh, income that will help you to have a replacement income pag nag-retire ka. Alam nyo, pag nag-retire tayo, wala na kayong income. Hindi natin maasahan si SS. So kung meron kayong mga multiple of rental income, this will help you to fund your retirement age. Ayan. Now, again, fast forward, nag 1 million na lumabas sa akin every month na binayaran ko then over 40 months. The 4 million I leverage sa bank para hindi nagagalaw yung cash po ninyo. Then, I will have it rented. Hindi ko naman pa titira niyan. And my goal is to have rental, multiple rental incomes. So the, the rent will pay for the mortgage every month to the bank. So sounds good. So may title ka pa. Oh. So collateral natin yan sa banko. Again, may lalabas na naman panibagong property. 
then parentahan ulit natin and let the rental um, uh, the tenant will pay for your mortgage ladies and gentlemen do this while you are young why hindi niyo pa kailangan ang, ang mga ang rental dito so let in the next coming 5 10 or 15 years let the tenant pay for your amortization and by the time kung kayo po ay expat Pilipino at babalik na po sa Pilipinas then allowing let's say kung meron kang dalawa na lang na uh, napaparentahan mo na 50 mil that's already 100,000 pesos every month sustainably coming from your rental business good so jump po I'm still doing that. I have my townhouses. I have my condominium that will help me and my family to be sustainable in the next coming years when we return home. Ayan. Now, ito. Sample. Uh, let's remove that limiting belief. Ito, this is a South 2 residences. This is in uh, in Las Piñas. So, marapit sa South Mall. Mer South 2, meron ng South 1. Yung property value ng South 1 na nag-introduce sila is somewhere from 2 million to 3 million. Ngayon po, the new project, it's a pre-selling. Uh, it's already at 4.7 up. Okay. Now, minsan sa ating mga Pilipino, our limiting belief, pag nagka, uh, fa pagka million na po ang pinag-uusapan, ayaw na natin. Ayaw na natin. But again, becoming an having the entrepreneurial mindset Look into how are you going to pay for this. Look, remove the 4.7. Later, we will go back to that. Ang kailangan yung pag is how are you going to pay this. Reservation fee of 25000 Okay. Then, a monthly down payment in the next coming 50 months. So, parang ang babayaran mo lang dito para do sa down payment is 11000 pesos, more or less. So, parang nagtatabi na po kayo sa inyong kinikita ngayon in the next coming 50 months, 11,000 pesos para ka nagpepensyon. And then, makakaipon ka in the next coming 50 months po ng around 550,000 pesos. So, again, na-lock in nyo na po yung price ng 4.7 na yun while paying 11,000 every month in the next coming 50 months. Now, Turnover after 50 months, I will show you later. I will show you later paano nyo to malilibre in two weeks. All right? But let's compute. Ano ba ang kailangan kong bayaran after kong bayaran yung down payment in the next coming 50 months? Now, meron pa pong sa 4.7 minus the 550,000, may matitira pa yan na more or less 4.2 million. Medyo malaki pa. Now, sa, sa ating banking system, meron po kayo, pwede po natin itong ma-loan. Now, kung sa Pilipinas kayo mag-loan, meron pong 15 years loan. Currently, the ongoing rate, medyo mababa. Ang interest rate is 5.88% as we speak. Now, mag-change po yan. So, kailangan ang income ninyo, kung kayo po ay mag-asawa, combined income of 100,000 pesos. Another limiting belief minsan inisip natin, ay hindi ko pa kaya, saka na ako mag-invest. Ma'am, sir, matagal na po yan, hindi niyo po makukuha dahil pataas na po ng pataas ang property. Kung kayo po ay single, binata pa kayo, mga millennials dyan, you can also do a co-ownership. Kung tatlo kayo na gross income ninyo is aabot ng 100,000 pesos, you can start now. Alright? And then later on, believe me, um, you can achieve more uh, condo rental properties uh, on, on the next coming years. Now, coming back, kailangan ng income requirement is 100,000 para ma-approve. At ang babayaran nyo in the next coming 15 years is 35,000 more or less yung monthly amortization nyo. Ito na sinasabi ko. Tuturuan ko kayo paano nyo tumalilibre. The first one, have it rented. You know, Kung hindi nyo pa kailangan ng pera neto, allow the tenant to pay for the property. The estimated conservative, ito na yung pinakamababa, is 40,000 pesos. Imagine tumaas na po yan ng 50 to 60 and sooner or later tataas pa po yan. So na-lock in again yung price at 4.7. 
35,000 na lang yung monthly mo do sa 4.2 na babayaran yung lump sum. And then meron ka pang sukli sa 40,000 na rent every month. Every month doon sa rental niyo. So this is part of the leveraging. Now what I'm going to show you and open to you an opportunity na pwede niyo po itong malibre. In the next coming 50 months, while you're getting this property, we are allowing you, together with my group, we are going to allow you na mabalik sa inyo ang property na ito. Kumbaga parang if you're going to think this as a business, every month na mumuhunan ka ng 11,000 pesos na para mapapunta sa iyo ang business or rental property na ito while you can have also refer influence from your own network. You know, yung mga kakilala natin, yung mga KKK, kamag-anak, may ma-refer ka lang na successful na isa na kumuha na tulungan natin Sabihin natin 4 million at 2.5% yan, meron kang 100,000 pesos every month. Gawin mo to every month meron ka. In the next coming 50 months, while nagbabayad ka ng down payment ng 11,000, makakaipon ka po ng 5 million pesos. Pag tinurn over na sa ito ng 4.2, may sukli ka pang more or less 700 to 800,000 pesos from your own business by referring and being part of our marketing team. Sounds good? So pwede yung dalawang beses nyo siyang malibre through rental and through referral partnership with us. Marketing partnership with us. So your choice. Allow us to help you. Sinong gusto na ito, type ng me sa chat box and we will help you achieve your goal. Ayan. Sige, keep it coming on your chat box. We will teach you how to um, ma malibre itong mga units natin. Now, the very essence of becoming an expat entrepreneur, kaya yun po yung naging brand natin. Lagi natin pinupush. Tandaan natin, our income is never enough. Kahit tumataas yan. Our 9 to 5, yung trabaho natin will help us pay the bills. But whatever we do after the 9 to 5, your 6 to 10 will help you build your empire. So imagine if you spend with our program, pangkabuhayan para sa'yo, kakilala mo kabuhayan mo, and we will teach you how to earn also while investing. So imagine this. If you will spend 30 minutes or an hour to, um, to give, to influence individual, you know, in, in, uh, within your KKK, kakilala, kakaklase, ka, ka kaibigan, kaaway, uh, kagrupo, all of this. Let's influence them to, to teach them to be part of this program. You know, you can do this. So imagine, 30 to an hour, meron kang nire-refer, binibigay sa SMDC partners po ninyo. Every successful referral, let's say a property price of 4, 4 million uh, pesos. So you can get a 2.5%. That's already 100,000 pesos. Every month na lang. So sabihin natin, every month meron ka nakukuha or nare-refer, natutulungan na isa. In one year, sabi mo, nagpahinga ka ng dalawang buwan, sampu na lang. Sino po dito ang gusto ng 1 million pesos? And if you do this in the next coming four years, while you're getting your property, you will earn around 4 million pesos. Pakitay po ng mine sa inyong chat box. So while helping, you are earning. While you're investing, you are also earning much more than do sa property na kinukuha nyo. Okay, sige, continue to type mine po. Ayan. So sabi ko 30 to 1 hour. What if you put an hour to two hours listing down all your friends, family, and relatives all over the world na pwede natin matulungan? Sino po dito ang gusto? Doblehin natin ng 8 million pesos in 4 years time. Dalawang property na ang nakuha nyo by the time na libre nyo. Pakitype ng mine sa inyong chat box. Thank you. Keep it coming. <laughs> Salamat po. Now, Frank, uh, first ako nag-invest with SMDC because I do have my own my own rental properties na yung mga townhouse natin. 2015, sabi ko, uh, kumuha ko ng air residences. Frank is my friend na kumuha kami, sabay. So after namin kumuha, bumalik siya sa akin. Sabi niya, pare, parang napasubo ata ako. 
So bakit? Eh, that time, yung first uh, talk ko with SMDC. Sabi niya, um, hindi ko alam kung paano ko babayaran tong property na to. O sabi ko, bakit ka kumuha kung alam mo, hindi mo alam yung finances at makukunin yung, yung, uh, um, yung property na to. Pero sabi ko sa kanya, Frank, ang problema mo is not like, uh, yung problema ko is paano ko may libre? Hindi paano mo babayaran. Ha? Sabi ko, pa, sabi niya, paano yun? So sabi ko, ang problema mo, paano mo babayaran? Ang solusyon dyan is paano mo maghahanap ka ng additional income ngayon beyond sa trabaho mo para mabayaran ng unit. Tama? Yes. Ako, hindi ka kasi nakikinig, meron opportunity na binigay si SM sa atin, SMDC sa atin. Meron referral incentive. Ako, pagka-pirma ko, sabi ko, paano ko ito malilibre? Ang ginawa kong solusyon, naglista ko ng mga kakilala, kaibigan, kaklase, kamag-anak all over the world that we can potentially help with this kind of investment. And tulungan natin sila ng right mindset and right uh, attitude when, when in comes of uh, uh, real estate investment. With that, naturuan natin si Frank. And that same year, Frank made 29 successful partners in a referral. And in that year, he got an amount receivable of 2.9 million pesos. Sinong gusto niyan? Sinong gusto maging partner? Sinong gusto matuto neto? Pakitay ng partner sa inyong chat box. Ayan. So while you are investing, sige, keep on coming po. Sige, partner. Sige, type lang po tayo dyan sa chat box natin. While you are investing, you are earning at malilibre niyo pa po ang unit. Allow us to fulfill your dream of becoming an entrepreneur. Treat this as your business. Becoming an entrepreneur uh, because gusto natin, marami tayong life goals, family, uh, sustainable um, uh, family, financial freedom, personal and professional growth. So, pagiging entrepreneur, marami pro- problema yan. First, kailangan mo ng produkto. Number two, kailangan mo ng puhunan sa produkto na yan. Alright? At kailangan mo matutunan ng sistema na to. What if, what if my group, we will help you fulfilling becoming an entrepreneur by, eto, hindi mo na kailangan ng produkto. SMDC have 50 plus at marami pang padating na produkto. Hindi mo na kailangan lagyan ng puhunan. Meron ka nang kailangan ibenta, i-trade. Ito na yung produkto. Number one company in the Philippines. You can never go wrong in this kind of product. And we can be, you can be part of this and treat this as your own business. Nandito rin, together with my professional team, we are going to help you, teach you, mentor you, Nandiyan dyan na yung development, nandiyan na yung system, nandiyan dyan na yung business. What you just need to do as an entrepreneur, completing the triangle is for you to bring your commitment, your skills, and your network. Sino po dyan ang gusto maging entrepreneur? Pakitype ng entrepreneur sa inyong mga chat box. Allow us to help you become entrepreneur. And by helping you, you can earn millions with our group at the comfort of your home. At the same time, you can also earn millions with SMDC without leaving your day job. Sige, continuous typing entrepreneur. We are going to be uh, happy in serving you and helping you to become part of uh, your entrepreneurial success. Sige po, tatawagan kayo ng ating professional team para ma-take action na natin ang millions ninyo. So before I end this, I want you to watch this sad reality. Whether you're an expat OFW, you are um, a breadwinner in the Philippines, I would like to, let's take time, watch this video, this text messaging, and what is the sad reality happening to our society, to our community, and even to our uh, friends and family.
So let this video, this text engagement, be a reminder for us that kahit ano ang gawin natin, we need to fight that culture of entitlement na lahat na lang inasa sa atin, even maliliit or malalaki. And not, not saying no. Kasi at the end of the day, if we're not going to take charge of our finances, sooner or later, when we get old, sooner or later, when, when, when we get sick, baka tayo maging kawawa dahil wala nang tutulong sa atin. Dahil inako nyo ng lahat. Invest for your own future. And we need to start this now. And kaya kalina, tinanong ko kayo, thank you and I congratulated you in the beginning for taking time for your own self. Because kung walang tutulong sa sarili natin, wala nang tutulong na iba. All right? Take action to your millions and allow my team, allow us to help you give this opportunity, guide you on this opportunity, and invest while you are um, earning as well. And I would like you to reflect on this quote. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. And allow our program to help you prepare for your retirement. If you are an OFW or an expat Filipino, allow us to help you reintegrate successfully, earn additional cash flow on top of your job or whatever you are earning at the moment by this business partnership. Allow me and my team to help build your investment plan. And together with this community, let's grow in helping others, in helping them to achieve success. Now, on the last part, success comes from consistent action, however small it is. As long as we anchor this with our vision and our goal, with our biggest why, and let's put a strategy to it and allow my team, my team will, will be contacting you uh, my professional team will help you in achieving this goals and vision. And together, together, we will put action in plan. Gusto mong malibre ang unit na yan? Tuturuan namin kayo. And we will go into challenge and push you para ma-achieve mo yung goal and success. So with that, maraming marami pong salamat. Allow us to help you unleash endless opportunities and establish sustainable business program and for you to become an entrepreneur allow us to challenge you and take action in this journey towards to your million now let's retire successfully let's reintegrate back home successfully this is my our contact number. We, you can reach me through my mobile phone. Uh, that's uh, WhatsApp or Viber. You can email me as well. You can add us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Allow us to help you, to help to mentor you. And after this, right after this webinar, I want you to take action. And together with my professional team, we are going to be contacting you if you would love to be part of this community and take and grab the opportunity. With that, maraming maraming pong salamat. God bless you. Stay safe and see you soon. Thank you.